Hello everyone, this is part 11 on how to make a shooter game in Scratch. In this tutorial, I will be mostly fixing and polishing our game. Uh, there are lots of bugs in our game, so I want to make this as bug-free as I can. Um, if you haven't seen parts 1 through 10 yet, make sure to check them out. Links are in the description below. Also, I posted this game on my Scratch account. The link is also in the description below. Anyways, let's get started. So the first problem that I noticed was that after you lose twice, then the game doesn't work anymore. So let's see. So this is my first time I lose, and then main menu. And if I lose again, then for some reason, the player will not be able to shoot, and no zombies will come out. And the solution to that is because I forgot to delete these shop icon clones when the player loses. So let's just drag a delete this clone after when I receive lose. So right in here. Now if you try it, then it should work. So let's see. First time the player dies. All right. Second time. Okay. And if you play again, then the player can shoot and zombies spawn. Great. Let's just try it again to see if it works. And it does. All right. The next bug I want to fix is that um, when the player dies, then as you see over here, the lives go back to three and we want the lives to go to zero. So let's fix that by going to the sprite of our lives and go to the costumes and let's make a new costume with zero lives. So let's duplicate the first one and just delete the heart. Now I'll drag this on the top and yeah. So now, since the costume switches to the amount of lives you have, we need to change the costume name to zero, because that's going to be when the lives are equal to zero. So let's type zero here, and we should be good. So let's try it. Start, and when the player loses, oops, okay, that did not really work. Wait, let me try it again. Um, okay, three lives, and then jumps to one life, that's weird, okay, let me see, I think we need to add one to the switch costume to lives, so just drag a plus operator, and put the lives into here, and type a one, and let me first see if this works, okay, three lives, two lives, one life, and okay, lose, and lives don't show anymore. Okay, great. So let me explain to you why I, I need a plus one. So when I do switch costume to lives, it switches costume number over here to the amount of lives I have. So um, let me see. So when I have three lives, it actually switches to this costume because this is the third costume. But I don't really know why when I do this, it switches to the fourth costume. That's weird. And then it jumps to the second one. Hmm. Okay, I'm not really sure about that, but just add a plus one um, from the lives, and it should be good. So another bug that I found out was that the boss zombie still shows after you lose. So let's first go to our wave counter. And let's just set the wave to 5, so that we can start on the wave where the boss zombie appears. So let's click play, and start. And there's a boss zombie, and if we lose, then the boss zombie still moves, and when we go to main menu, it still shows. And that's a problem, so let's fix that. First things first, let's go to our boss zombie sprite. And I forgot to make the boss zombie stop when the player loses. So let's go to events, drag A when I receive lose, 
Then let's go to looks, actually a control, and stop all other scripts in this sprite. So the boss army just stops everything. And let's go to events, drag a when I receive menu, then go to looks, and hide. And for the boss zombie, um, mini zombie things, let's see. I think it should be fine. So yeah, let's try it out. All right, boss zombie spawns mini zombies. When I lose, everything stops. That's fine. And main menu, it works. And if we click start again, there is the boss zombie. And all right. Cool. So that works. So yeah. Um, okay. Another uh, minor bug I found out was that when I click start, the player... Okay, that's weird. Okay, it didn't happen that time, but let's see. When I press start, the player shoots once, as you see there. Wait, let me just first set the wave back to 1. Okay, so sometimes when you click start and you hold the mouse button for too long, the player shoots once, and we don't want that. So let's go to our player, and let's see. We have a wait 0.1 seconds here before the mouse down things are triggered. However, let's change that to a wait until, we can take this out, not mouse down. And then drag it right before the forever loop. And what this does is that since our mouse was down when we press the start, it's going to wait until we release our mouse and then it runs the forever loop here. So there's no random bullet at the start of the game. So let's try it out. We click start, and no matter how long we hold it, there's no bullet. And yeah, now it works. So cool. Um, I'll just die. And let's try it again. And it works. All right. So let me playtest and see what other bugs I can find. Alright, so another small bug that I found out was that the boss zombie would just randomly appear uh, when you reset the game. So, yeah, I can't really show it right now because I'm not really sure how to uh, get that bug, but to fix it, just go to control. And then drag a wait and change this to like 0 0.01 seconds um, before you check the wait until wave equals 5. Another bug that I found out was that if the boss zombie is on the screen and you open the shop, then it will keep on spawning the mini zombies under the boss until you close the shop and there's like a huge horde coming at you. So to fix that, let's just go to our boss zombie and inside of this forever loop, make sure to add a if shop open equals no. So, yeah, data shop open equals to no. And that should fix it. And one thing that I just saw when the shop was paused was that the boss zombie was in front of the arrow sprite. So let's just um, go to our arrow sprite and make it go to the front. Um, let's put it, like, right after the show. So now it should work. Let's try it out. There's our boss zombie. I'll try to make it go in front of the shop arrow. Not really sure where that is though. I think it's like around here. Um, okay, still moving. Okay, around here I think. So I'll press P. Oops, okay. I was a bit off, but whatever. Let's just wait a while. And there shouldn't be any extra zombies spawning now. So yeah, it's good. And also, um, just to make the game look better, I don't think we need the loose screen to completely cover the screen. So I think it can still be a bit transparent. I think that might look better. So let's change the repeat 50 to 
maybe we repeat 40 and let's see how that looks so boss zombie and all right there's still some ghost effect there as you see so I think that looks better I might change that to 45 I'll see how that looks and I'll just shoot some bullets all right and I think that looks pretty good so I'll leave it like that all right so I think there aren't any more bugs that I know of so if you guys see any problems with the game then tell me in the comments below anyways that's it for this video if you enjoyed it then give it a thumbs up and subscribe too if you haven't already the next tutorial part 12 will be the last part of this entire series so stay tuned for that one. Again, this project will be in the description below, so if you want to playtest it or use it as a reference, then you can just check it out. That's it for this tutorial. See ya!